Marie is with us in Sacramento. We were just there. Hi, Marie. How are you? I'm good. How are you guys? Better than we deserve. What's up? Um, my husband and I are having a discussion about paying off our mortgage. Um, this is our situation. He is active duty military. We know that we'll be stationed here um, for about three and a half more years, but then we'll be moving to the Midwest. So we're trying to figure out if we should pay down the rest of our mortgage like as aggressively as possible, or should we invest that money for a future down payment um, at our next GB station? You're going to sell the house when you move? Yes. So either way, you're going to get the money back? Mm-hmm. It's not like we're spending it, right? No. I mean, you're either going to put it in an investment or you're going to pay down the house. Either way, the money's going to be sitting there when you move and going to come out of the investment or come out of the house and be used for the Midwest house, correct? Yes. Okay. So I think if you get that out on the table and say that out loud, sometimes that changes the way it sits in your brain. Because sometimes people feel like when they're paying off their house, that like they're spending money or something. It's not going away. You get it back when you sell the house. So you're making the interest rate as your rate of return, because when you don't pay interest on it, you save that interest, right, by paying it off mm -hmm. or paying yeah. it down, either one, or you make the rate of return on an investment. The difference, though, is, is you can cash out an investment by a bass boat. You really can't do that with your house. It's what we call a forced savings plan. Once you pay down the house, <laughs> you are stuck only two ways to get that money out, refinance, which you wouldn't do, or sell the house, which you don't do until you move. So keeps you from spending the money, and you get a rate of return, and you're uh, moving towards wealth. I'm paying down the house. Okay. That is my opinion as well, but, um, you know, I thought I would call and get your opinion just so I could have that uh, to talk to my husband. <laughs> yeah. and, and here's the weird thing, too. After doing this for 30 years, Sometimes people's plans don't work out. Can you imagine? That is true. Yeah. <laughs> and I don't know what series of events would occur for you to remain there. I don't know what those would be. Uh, or to uh, be delayed there for five extra years. Or to move sooner because something else happened. I don't know what any of those things are. But seldom have my plans that I laid out worked out exactly like I thought they were going to. Mine never do, Dave. <laughs> <laughs> never. So, well, that's what my, that's kind of my point. None of it. So, yeah, I, I'm paying it down because that works no matter what happens. So is there, there's this fear permeating the, uh, the interwebs that if you pay down your house now, it's going to be worth less than three to five years. The uh, house values are not affected by the debt on the house. Say that again. The house goes up in value based on what someone will pay for it, not based on what you owe on it. Right, but the fear being, if I pay off my ha my mortgage and it's six hundred thousand, and suddenly have to sell it for four hundred, I've lost two hundred thousand dollars. You you've lost it anyway, because if you if you haven't paid it down and you sell it at a loss, you've got to pay the difference. Oh my gosh, you're a genius! You should start a radio <laughs> show, Dave. <laughs> But that's not what they say on the internet, man. I know, but if you listen, no, I know, if, I know exactly what. If you owe five hundred thousand dollars on the house and it goes from six hundred down to four hundred, you owe a hundred more on your house than it's worth. They don't give you a break on it. And so the illusion of having a hundred grand in the checking account as a hedge against that isn't real. It's not real. They're going to take that it's, money. It's, yeah, this is why they should teach you know basic accounting in the eleventh grade, but they don't. That's called a balance sheet entry. So, oh God, um, <laughs> the internet that, is just, Hey, that's what he was asking. The internet is just, or that's what she was asking. No, no, no. He's just saying he wants the money easier to access. So when they move, they can just do the move. And then he's going to try to buy the house in the Midwest before he sells the house in Sacramento. And I'm going to prevent him from doing that because he's not going to have any money. Gotcha. Cause he's going to tie it up in the house. He's got to sell the Sacramento house his house off. and not going to say, we're going to keep that one as a rental while we move to Kansas city. <laughs> no, we're not either. We're selling that dadgum thing. Um, and it does not change the value of a home whether you pay it down or not. That's a different issue. But, yeah, both of those got covered in one call. Look how good we are.